Okay, so now we have our first door and our chest. Let's go ahead and put down our, our, our crafting table. Let's put our chest down so that when we open it up, it's a large chest, basically, and we can put our stuff in there. Like, we don't need our seeds for now. I'll put the seeds in there. We'll keep all of this in there. I really don't even need the map yet, so let's get that out. Then we have more room in our inventory for things that we do need. Um... Got that done almost just in time. And this is, there's cows everywhere. And what we'll want to do next is either start a little farm so that we can have food or get these cows into a corral. Okay, the sun's going down, so there's, uh, it's about to be nighttime. So let's go ahead and just chill out in here. We'll want to get torches next so we can light this place up so it's not so dark and spooky. And then we'll also want to make sure that we got food. Let me check one more thing out. Let's see if there's any stone around here. There's a pig. Let's go ahead and kill this pig. He gave us some experience. And two, two meats. That's good. We want to also try to find some stone so that we can build better tools. That's something I like to do is just dig down once you're inside your base. Just start digging. Like maybe we'll start a tunnel here going down, 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 and you'll run into stone. And then you can um, make better axes. You can even find coal to build the torches with. And you can use stone to build your... Let me show you. You'll use stone to build your um, furnaces with. There's a brewing stand for later on. Enchantment table. See, it even shows you the recipe over there. That's pretty cool, but you don't use it. And it shows you what you don't have. Okay, pretty cool. There's sandstone. Let's see what else we have here. Tools, shears. That's for clipping sheep, and you can get wool, TNT, fishing poles, and bows and arrows, swords of all kinds. See, there's the stone sword we'll build next. Stone pickaxe and stone shovel. Let's go ahead and build another shovel because we're going to dig up some sand for some glass. Just for effect. I like having glass. And there's our torches. We need some charcoal. Or some coal. Alright, so it's getting dark. What does that mean? Well, this the, the crazies come out at night. And you'll see that happening very shortly as the moon is up. But we've made it our first day. We're not going to die. We have plenty of food. I even have some meat, raw pork chop that I can eat if I need to. I don't need to. And you actually want to cook that up so you get a little bit better um, meat gain, food gain out of it. If you cook it up, you get more food on your bar over there. So let's just wait. And we have plenty of windows we can look out and see if spiders are coming. Or zombies. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a bad guy right over there. Whoa! There's an Enderman. Man, we don't want to mess with that guy. The trick with the Enderman is don't put your crosshairs on him. Don't look directly at him. You can look at him like this in his direction, but don't put your crosshairs on him. Spooky! <laughs> so let's close that door. He'll actually come over and take blocks, too. If he's mad at you, he'll take your dirt blocks. And just wreak havoc in your base. And yes, this first day is fairly boring because you don't have torches, so you can't go and do too much exploration. Um, you don't really have a lot of, you don't have any armor. Um, we could mine, we could start digging and start mining if we wanted to, but you would only get a few down. Let me show you. Um, yeah, this will work. 
Let's see, it's a shovel. I can barely even see inside here. You see, you can eat, I can barely even see right here. And there we go. We'll, we're two steps down and you can already barely see. So we really want to wait until the next day, which this is probably the longest section of inactivity in the game where you're just not able to do much at all. You can't even make a bed. If you had a bed, you could you could sleep. Where's the moon? Okay, we're about halfway done with the night. You could sleep in the bed and then daytime comes immediately if we had a bed. Hey, what's going on, wolf? If you don't attack, okay, docile until attacked. When they will attack, when they will attack you back. So just don't attack the wolf and he's cool. He will kill sheep and other animals that are around. I don't think he kills cows though. That'd be quite a feat. I mean, you can also tame them so that they're your friend, and then they'll attack bad guys. So they're kind of cool to have around. All right, let's just wait here. I'm not going out there. No way. All right, so we've got a good start going though. We've got our chest. Let's go ahead and put our food in here. We got some seeds in case we want to grow some wheat. And we even have a map. I'll spread this stuff out a little bit. Why not? Uh, we have some more wood, so if we wanted to build any more items, we could. Um, there's the bed. And we would really just need three uh, wools. I could probably go kill some sheep and get the wool off of them, or shear them even better and get the wool off of them and make a bed. And then you don't have to deal with nighttime. You just go to sleep in the bed, and bam, it's daytime again. Don't even have to deal with it. There's the armor. I um, need leather for these armors. Uh, iron. Diamond. There's even gold armor. Gold armor is not that great, though. I usually go from iron to diamond. And the path to progression here, whenever you're playing Minecraft, is really what we're doing right here, which is... Oh, that's a spider way over there. See his red eyes? Spooky! Spooky! This is the path of progression in, in Minecraft is survive the first day and then start a farm or a, a corral so, uh, so that you can have meat, pigs, cows. Start a wheat farm so you can have food that way. Make sure you're stocked up on food. Make sure you're stocked up on supplies and then start mining into the ground or into the side or start looking for caves or whatnot. What is this? Is that a, yeah. We don't want to mess with them. Let's not mess with anything. When the sun comes out, it'll burn all these bad guys up. And that's good. Um, oh, man. I don't want him to blow my house up. I don't want you to blow my house up. I don't want you to do it. Stay away. I'm not in here. Nobody's home. If you get too close to him, he'll explode. And he'll blow part of your stuff up. So I don't want to mess with that guy. No, I'm not in here. <laughs> There's a black sheep, black wool. You can get dyes and color sheep different colors, and dye the wool different colors. Stay away, punk. If he blows my house up, then all hell can break loose and everybody's coming in. I don't want that, really. But anyway, yeah, survive the first day, start mining. Look for iron, build better iron tools. So you build stone tools, then you can build iron tools, and then once you have iron tools, you really want to start going deeper into the mines and start looking for diamonds. So you can build diamond tools, diamond armor, and then if you wanted to, you could really go out at night and kick a bunch of butt. But if we went out there right now and got a fight with a, um, an enderman, he'd kick, our, he'd kick our butts real fast. We wouldn't want that. This guy could probably explode and take off a good chunk of my life. And take out half my base. Oh, there's, there's that guy too. It's a skeleton and an archer. Oh, stop that. Here comes the sun though. The sun's coming up. And they are all going to catch on fire. Right, he can shoot me through my windows. That's why I kind of like glass. With glass you can take out all of this and just put glass in it. A spider can't crawl through. You don't have to worry about that. And you can always see out. Oh, you creep. Go away. That's actually his name. Creeper. He creeps up on you. He'll sneak up on you if you're not careful and explode. You'll hear it, though. About, I think you get a two-second warning. 
Boom! Okay, so it sounds like he's on fire. Where's this guy at? You can kind of hear him burning and burning. Oh, you can see the spider on, or that guy over there on fire. Let's go out and check it out. Let's see how he got me. All these spiders, man. Spiders are punks. There, take that. I already know that. So maybe that was a spider that I was hearing the whole time. Let's shut our door because I don't want anybody getting in. Okay. Jeez. What a bunch of bullies. Okie dokie. So, let's start digging out here where we can see. Or let's just take a look around a little bit here. Let's get that guy and get some wool. Um, let's get this guy and get some more wool. Only because I'd love to make a bed. I'm going to leave you alone, Cal. Man, there's just wolves everywhere over here. The chicken egg. Let's get that chicken egg. Right, so it looks like there's a big cave there, but I don't really want to explore that far just yet. Okay, there's a sheep right over there. Let's get this one. And then we'll have enough to make a bed. Then we can make a bed and not have to worry about the night time ever again. All right, now let's go make our bed. Why not? So we've got our bed. Let's set our bed out. Boop. And that's our bed. I already know about beds. We can lay down in the bed and go to sleep at night and we will be all set. Let's take our oops. Let's take our pickaxe. And let's go out. Let's actually start with our shovel. I'm not seeing anything right here as far as digging, so let's just start to dig. get a little bit deep and you'll start seeing stone. Oops, where's that other axe? Or shovel. Okay, so... Okay, here we go. And there we go, stone. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for some stone. For a few reasons, really. Um, let's go ahead and get this out of here. And we can do this during the day pretty safely. At night, it gets really dark down here. So, we really want to do this. You need a pickaxe. It's a wooden pickaxe. It's kind of a hunk of junk right now, but we're about to improve that. Oh, yeah. Stone pickaxe. So far, let's go ahead and knock these out, and my pickaxe is getting damaged. This should last a good while, but it's really Now if I can find some coal, that would be awesome. Okay, cool. 
That should be enough for now. Let's see where the sun is. About halfway done with the day. Let's go and get some sand while we're out here. You notice how the water will take the place of blocks that are removed. Let's go back to our base. It's a very humble base. No frills, nothing fancy. And let's build ourselves a furnace. So let's see here, where are we at? Where are we at? Furnace. Now we have a furnace. Let's get our furnace out. Replace it with a spidey eye. And let's put our furnace right by the crafting table. Or, you know what, let's go ahead and fill this back in. Let's put it way over here. Boop. Okay, now we can do some other things with that, but we don't have what we need to do that with yet. So, let's go get some more wood. Or let me see something real quick. Um, no, let's get some more wood. We could always use some more wood. Boy, those cows are everywhere. I don't have any food for you guys. Nothing yet. But y'all just wait. Then we'll be making cow babies and everything. So let's go in here and make some more planks, more planks, more planks, more planks, more planks. Got enough planks. And now, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, so this is our furnace. I already know how to furnace. Well, it looks like you do get to mess around with the um, furnace here a little bit. I can't remember the recipe for charcoal. I usually just use coal. Hey Andrew! Come here for just a second. I've got to call upon my pro. How do I make charcoal again? Sticks? Oh, it has to be raw wood. Okay, thanks, man. Okay, there's an apple. Okay, so let's get some more raw logs. Okay, cool, man. Will you shut that door whenever you go out? Cool, dude. Okay, so let's see what we've got now. Uh, let's make some more sticks. He's my professional Minecraft player. I go to him for all of my questions. All right, let's take the wood, put it there, take some sticks, put it there, and voila. Now we are making something, and it lights up. We have charcoal. That's helpful. I will show you why very shortly. While that's doing that, let's make us some more sticks. That ought to do it. Let's go back here. Let's check on our charcoals. Let's get our charcoal and our charcoal 